So this, to my knowledge, is the rarest Hero Factory piece. It's the classic torso piece. You know, the kind of torso piece you see in every 2.0 Hero Factory hero. But the difference with this torso piece that makes it so much more rare is the colour of this piece. This piece has a black and silver marble colour to it. So how did you obtain this piece? Well, back in 2011, LEGO released something called the Hero Recon Team, which was basically just the Hero Factory version of LEGO Designed By Me. Basically, you could go online, design your own custom Hero Factory hero, and then you could buy it. So when this cool service first launched, Hero Recon Team agents could include up to 31 pieces, including an exclusive chest piece which was co-injected with black and silver metallic plastic. Yes, the rare piece that we were talking about. But there was an update in September 2011, which raised the maximum piece count to 35 pieces and expanded the parts that you could order to include a wider variety of different elements. Which is great, but sadly this update saw the end of this exclusive chest piece. You could no longer order it through the service. So yeah, this piece could only be obtained by using that specific service, Hero Recon Team, on lego.com. At the time, it was advertised in sets and online, so it was like decently known if you were a fan at the time. It wasn't some like hidden away service that only select people knew about. I myself never ordered one. I wish I had. This was such a cool concept. It's a shame they don't do stuff like this anymore. So yeah, other than the option to include this cool torso piece in your custom hero, the set itself, which was set number 11995, it came with this snazzy looking box. You also got the custom recon team agent that you yourself designed. You get a nice instruction booklet that was obviously customized to help you build your specific hero. And this booklet also featured the name and the stats that you yourself assigned to the hero before you ordered it. That's really cool, isn't it? And you also got a nice little circular agent sticker and the back of the box and included a statement in various languages welcoming the agent into the Hero Recon team, and it was signed Merrick Fortis. So who is this Merrick Fortis? Well, Commander Merrick Fortis is a top agent from Hero Factory's early days, and a leader of the Hero Recon team. Unfortunately, this character never actually officially appeared in any, uh, you know, released LEGO sets, but he was often shown in different forms of media and he was you know, used to promote the Hero Recon team. And yes, you could build him using the actual service itself. The torso piece that we talked about, it works pretty well for him, despite the fact that Fortis appeared as a starter model for the service, but he didn't use this blended recon torso armor. So technically he's not supposed to use this piece when you build him yourself. He's meant to just use a plain black torso piece. But clearly this part works perfectly for him, right? Strange choice there, but meh, whatever. So look, it's nice that there's a character that kind of sort of goes with this piece, and it's nice that there was an exclusive part available for a limited time when you used this service. But if you want this piece today, well, good luck. There's currently none for sale on Bricklink. The same can be said for the set itself. It's just not a common thing to see. Bricklink reveals a few of these torso pieces have sold in the past. One was in 2021, and it sold for 53 Australian dollars. That's about 34 US dollars. And then one sold a lot more recently in the last six months, and this sold for about 30 Australian dollars, which is about 20 USD. So it's a pretty big markup for one Lego piece, especially given that the standard version of this piece that appeared in regular sets in an array of established colors they typically go for about 20 cents each. But regardless of what it's worth, this just isn't something you see every day. You had to order them at the right time back in the day. Plus, you know, this wasn't on store shelves, and you know, that must mean there just simply aren't that many of them in existence. It's a really cool and really fun oddity, isn't it? And it's about as rare as you can get for Hero Factory stuff. Now something else that's interesting about this set, if you did order a Hero Recon agent near when the service first launched, there actually was a delay due to some production issues. So as compensation, when your order arrived, it included a bonus flame element and a letter from Merrick Fortis explaining that uh, villains had attacked the production facility and that's why there was a delay. So there you go, that letter from Merrick Fortis, that's another cool, rare and interesting LEGO Hero Factory oddity, isn't it? Couldn't find any images of that online, but uh, I'd love to own one and love to see one. Now, what if you wanted to use one of these in your own LEGO creations? Well, there's not really many mocks online that use them outside of the context of Hero Recon Team agents. You know, for example, here's a nice lineup of Hero Recon Team members by the all-seeing eye, and they sport some of these beautiful armor pieces. There's a real, like, Black Ops vibe and a sort of darker color scheme to these guys, and it feels wonderfully mature for Hero Factory. So yeah, you know, creating a small team of characters like this, a sort of, like, SEAL Team 6, how awesome is that? And how good does it look? 
It's nice that this torso piece kind of invites a nice level of creativity and inspires some good mocks like this. Lego did the right move by including it in their service. And yeah, of course, these torso pieces fit right at home on these beautiful heroes. Bob the Doctor 27 also did his own unique take on Merrick Fortis using this exact same torso piece. There's some fun design choices here, like using the same scope eye head attachment that we see on Surge 2.0, but flipping it around. And yeah, this makes it look a little bit different and certainly a lot more unique. There's also these minifigure arm pieces used for fingers, and that's a very great look. A lot to love here. So yeah, what a strange and beautiful piece of Hero Factory history. I hope I can own one of these one day, because it's such a cool part. Now on that, I didn't actually take many of the photos that showcase this piece. The images and videos of this were actually provided by the all-seeing eye. He kindly sent me that sort of stuff so that I could do this video. So thank you very much for doing that. And be sure to check the links in the description where I'll have links to the all-seeing eye social media, as well as Bob the Doctor 27 social media. And you can go check out their stuff and give them a follow. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Happy building and bye for now.